hello friends you can see that there is a combination spanner or combination wrench so i have made this one and this is made of cast iron and now i am going to show you how to make this combination wrench and in local area in our local area also people call it dali so i am going to show you how to make this wrench so let's begin just click here select part okay now go to sketch and select front plane sketch now from line select center line and from this point through the origin draw a center line okay now click the center line and make it horizontal okay now select ellipse now from the center point draw an ellipse okay now select line okay now go to smart dimensions and make the angle in between them 17 degree okay now go to smart dimension again the length of the ellipse will be 55 mm and the width will be 50 mm okay it will be 50 okay okay not acceptable i need to make this one 50 okay just uh Ctrl Z. <coughs> now smart dimension again. Now actually from this point to this point actually not that point. So the distance will be actually 50 millimeter. And this one will be 55 millimeter. Okay. Now it is okay. Previously it was a mistake. I actually selected this point. Now it is okay. now select line and draw a line okay now select uh, select this line and press on control now select this line and make them not horizontal actually control z actually make them parallel okay now put a smart dimension the length will be 20 millimeter and the distance between this line and this line will be 12 point not 12 actually it will be 12.5 millimeter okay now select this point press on control select this ellipse and make coincident okay <coughs> now select this line now click mirror entities now line is selected and select this one mirror about now select this midline okay 
now select three point arc from this point to last point and make a three point arc okay and go to smart dimensions and the radius will be 15 millimeter okay now put trim into this and trim this part okay now this line is extended now select this point press and control and that point and make them merge okay now this part is complete <coughs> now come to this part this portion now select circle and from this point draw a circle okay go to smart dimension and the diameter will be 33 millimeter okay now select hexagon <coughs> now from this point draw hexagon okay now skip select this line and make it horizontal okay now smart dimension so the distance will be 25 millimeter okay now again select hexagon okay now select okay skip esc from the keyboard and select this line make it vertical okay now smart dimension this distance will be 25 millimeter okay now select trim entities now trim the inner parts trim all the inner parts one portion is left this part now the inner part is trimmed okay now select smart dimension now select this center and this center and the distance will be 240 millimeter not okay go back Ctrl Z again okay now select this center press on control from the keyboard now select the center and make them horizontal okay now select smart dimension the center to the center of the circle it is 240 millimeter okay now it is okay perfect now select line and from this point draw a line okay now select this line and make it horizontal okay now select okay not this one go to smart dimensions okay now the distance from this line to the center line will be 10 millimeter okay now select this line select mirror entities so line is selected now mirror about 
now select this line okay now check the points So this portion is extended. Now select trim entities. Now just trim this part. Okay. Now also select trim. Now just cut this portion. Okay. Now what our 2D part is complete. Now let's go to 3D part. Go to sketch features. Now select extruded boss or base. Now select this portion. Now select up to mid plane and it is 10 millimeter. Okay, it is also mid plane, 10 millimeter. Okay. Now click here. Select sketch again and go to features and select this portion now it is again mid plane now it will be 6 millimeter okay now go to okay we'll do the fillet later Select this portion, click on sketch, now click on convert entities. So these lines are, are converted. Now select this line. Now click on offset entities. Now make it 5 millimeter. Okay, so this portion is offset. Okay, now go to features again and select extruded cut. So this inner portion will be extruded cut and it will be 1 millimeter. Okay. Now we can apply fillet. Now select fillet and make it 3 millimeter. Now select the inner portions. Okay, close actually this one. So these portions are not actually selected. Okay, let's exit this one. Again, select fillet not 13 actually 3 millimeter there happened actually a problem now just click here 3 millimeter now Okay. Now come to this portion. Okay. Okay. Now this is related. 
now we need to mirror this part in the opposite side for this one at first select front plane sketch now click on go to features 3d mirror Exit front plane now mirror <coughs> now features to mirror actually and just click here we will mirror the extruded cut and the fillet part these two so these two are selected okay now check this side okay so it is perfectly mirrored. Now again fill, select fillet and make it 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter fillet. <coughs> now click here. Now again here in this portion. Okay. Now come to this side. Now select fillet. Now make it 20 millimeter. Now click this portion. This portion. Okay. Now select fillet. Now it is 1 millimeter. Now select this portion. this one this one and last this one okay now this part and this part okay so our drawing is complete both 2d and 3d now just let's apply the material just click here now at first go to appearance and from appearance go to metal <coughs> and from metal just I'm selecting iron and <coughs> I'm selecting cast iron okay now let's apply the color just click here just there are so many colors you can select any of the color So just I'm selecting this color. Okay, now just we can make it perspective. Change the background. Okay, now it's it looks better. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. Thank you.